eye floss tube. Um, I have a co-host that's starting tonight. Go ahead. It's a cat toy. Cat toy? The kitty's like playing with it? Okay. Are you going to say anything else? Um, yes. Yeah. What? Um, Me a lot. Yeah, they both like sleeping with you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell Floss Tube Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Okay, can you head upstairs, okay? Yes. I'll be up in a little while. Today is just one of those days where cat, good grief, now the cats are adding to it as well. I'm tired of being mom. Don't get me wrong, I love my children. But I'm tired of being mom. I get home from work, we each pick up a kid, get home, one or both of them is pissing and moaning or crying or fighting or whatever, and I have to think about dinner and whatever else I need to take care of in the house. And I can't can't even pee by myself. I can't. I can't. I went in there and I closed the door and immediately one of the cats was pawing at the at the door and scratching the carpet and then the dog was there banging on the door and then there was a kid and he opened the door and he wanted to know if he could watch TV and I said, I'm going to the bathroom. Go ask your dad. Because Brian was in the kitchen. <sighs> I'm tired of being mom. I just need a mom break. Cat, stop eating my stuff. Okay. So, um, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. I know I've gotten a few new subscribers in the last um, week or so. So, thank you for stopping in. I hope that you enjoyed everything. Um, I have at this point seen every comment on the last video and replied to everyone. This doesn't work. Anyway, let's just get to it. But first, I need you guys to sit down. Are you sitting? I'll give you a minute. Okay. Now that you're sitting, I have not one, but two FFOs. Two. Um, I finished this first one. Not this weekend but the weekend before and this is for a co-worker and I had I was kind of forced to finish it because I was gonna give it to her for Christmas um, since she asked for it a while ago so here's my first finish this is a Bent Creek pattern angels and this was um, just a wood um, easel I think it was actually called a menu board and I got it at Target. It was in, you know, their dollar spot bins. Now my phone is going off. And what I did is I mounted, um, or I cut um, mat board. And I always stretch my pieces with stitchery tape. So I cut my mat board and I cut two pieces of quilt batting. I cut one to the same size of the as the mat board and I cut one that was about maybe three quarters three quarters, half an inch to three quarters of an inch smaller all the way around. And I stacked those on top of each other just so it would give a, I don't know, cleaner edge kind of, I guess, was my thought. But it wasn't super thick batting, so it didn't matter. So I did that, stretched it all, and then I came downstairs and I found some fabric that matched and I tore that into inch and a half. I tore it at an inch and a half mark. Tore the strips. And you can't really, I mean, you can kind of see. I took my tacky glue and ran it along um, the board and scrunched up the fabric as I put it down. And I had to hold it in place a little bit, you know, until that tacky glue um, 
stuck a little bit, but it, it you know, you, if you've used tacky glue, you know that. So here's, I mean, I just laid it on top of each other, little ruffles. Just the corners, I just curved it. Not perfect, but I really am happy with it. And then I just took this cording, went all the way around with my tacky glue, crossed them at the bottom and tied a knot so that they wouldn't completely unfray. So, or unfray, completely fray, I don't, whatever. It's been a long Monday. So, there's FFO number one. Really happy with that. So tonight I get to wrap it up and take it to work with me tomorrow and give it to Ellen and see what she thinks. My second FFO, I'm not 100% on this. I may end up taking the piece off and doing something different with it later, but this was my original plan. So I took my owl all stitched up, which was supposed to be my YouTube name, but you know me, I'm technically challenged, and I just didn't feel like messing with changing it and everything. So, but my husband made this pattern for me. Um, I got it all stitched up. Ha, <laughs> all stitched up. <laughs> it wasn't even on purpose. Um, stretched it on mat board, and again, I did two layers of um, quilt batting underneath here. Mounted it on the box, ran the pom-pom trim with tacky glue around the edge. This was a Christmas box that I got from Michaels, and it's one of those with um, the magnetic closures. I didn't bother spray painting the inside. I mean, it's just red dots. I just took the box, spray painted as it sat. So, I mean, you can even see it there, but like I said, not 100% on this finish. Partly because I think it's the texture of the box. The paint, you can see it there, is it's going to chip. It has already in a couple spots. There's another one. Yeah, there's one there. It serves its purpose. I don't know. It, it may be one of those things where I end up taking it apart and putting it on, mounting it on a wooden box. I just didn't find a wooden box. Please stop chewing on my stuff. So, there are my two FFOs, and um, I hope that everybody was sitting for that and nobody fell over um, from pure shock, because I never have FFOs. Uh, now I have to find a place for this in my stitchy area of the basement. Okay. Finishes. Yeah, I don't have those, but I have whips. Um, last video, if you remember, I spun my wheel to see what project I was going to work on that night, and it landed on my Halloween Quaker. So I worked on that a little. Um, only a little. Here is my Halloween Quaker. I was able to add maybe the B-E-R in this motif. I think just those two and then I passed out on the couch so that didn't get too far um, let's see today is December 17th I still have time to finish it by 2019 right if I don't fall asleep on the couch oh sorry that pattern was a freebie um, from um, Sandman Originals, and it was from 2013. Um, the pattern can still be found online because that's where I tracked it down. Um, I can't rem I don't have a website itself named on here though, but that's where you can find it. Just Google it. I think that's what I did. <sighs> this cat. This cat. Um, the other, my next whip, oh, and this is, I'm on a time crunch on this. This is supposed to be done by the end of the year as well. This is my, um, pattern, uh, Bent Creek, the Thankful Owls. 
and if you remember I actually swapped out all of the floss for my fancy floss silks dinky dies having a lot of fun with that and I started putting the words so I'm actually going to use the same color for all of the words and I'm going one stitch at a time so you can see each color and this is the floss so it's got some nice fall colors in there there's a gold brown red green so and this is being stitched one over two on 36 count so I am excited to get that one done again hopefully by the end of the year I guess that means I need to buckle down usually this is the good cat okay now the really exciting ones guys really exciting super exciting okay um stony creek cross stitch oops stocking that i started with um jackie um cross my stitches and amy loves toads is going to do it i'm not sure if she started yet i've got that i don't know where this goes got that started and i did work on it a little bit more um last tuesday brian and i both took the day off of work to have like a date day which ended up being going out to breakfast and running errands so we're old and lame but we did rent a movie because because i got an email with a code for a free rental through redbox while we were eating breakfast so while we ate i got uh this extended over i had been to about here i got the top of the lighthouse stitched in there there are so many color changes just in that small area. But it's, I mean, it's going to be worth it. It's looking great. So I'm really happy with that. There's still time if you would like to jump in and join us uh, for that stitch along. Especially because, uh, that, you know, I won't finish it for another 14 years. And then the next one that I'm super excited about. This is my old magazine chart. This is from Cross Stitch Collection, December 2005. That is what it will look like. I'm sorry, I don't feel like taking it out of the plastic sleeve to flip the pages. And I am stitching this on my pre-printed fabric with the sheet music for old holy night and there is my progress you guys this is amazing i don't want to put it down i'm loving it so this is as high as it will go um i'm not going to take the q snap off right now excuse me um just because i am a little bit crunched for time but next time i do an update I will take this Q-snap off because I'm going to have to move it soon anyway. And I will um, show how everything is falling on that sheet music. But so far, I, I just, I can't get enough of that. Colors are awesome. The only thing I didn't consider when I started this project, and I'm hoping it doesn't drive me nuts, please stop eating my stuff. Obviously, the printing is not going to line up exactly on the lines, on the linen. So, I mean, you can, it's, it's curving up. Which means when I stretch it, the sheet music isn't going to be square. So, I'm going to have to mess with that. I'm hoping that in that bottom corner is the worst of it and the um, picture is going to cover the bulk of it. But something you might want to consider if you are looking at purchasing the fabric. Okay. And the next one I'm really excited about, because right now I'm really excited about a lot of my whips. This is my... This is my fairy idol, and I just wish I 
could work on her every night. But I've got so many other projects that I love too, so it's not going to happen. But here's my progress. Let me get this fabric gathered up. Oh, let me get something behind there. Look at that. So cool. So many color changes in here too. Not really con true confetti because it does flow into patches, but still a lot of color in there. I am in love with this. And this fabric, oh my god, to die for. Hand dyed by Rolanda. It's perfect for this piece. There's Fairy Idol. Who's going to have to get put away for at least a couple weeks. All of my exciting whips are. Because I already told you I have to finish that Thankful Owls and the Halloween Quaker by the end of the year. And on top of that... I'm a nut job, and I decided, you know, like a few days ago, that, oh, I should cross-stitch my kids' teachers an ornament. Just the sled ornaments. So they go pretty quick, right? Except that I have, he has a teacher and a teacher assistant, and then there's four um, staff members that do the um, adventure club, the after-school care. And they are really great with him, and I just felt like they deserved one too. So I picked up these two at work on Thursday, picked up the sleds on Thursday. I had this Lizzie Kate at home already. I had Ethan pick out six different designs. I'm at two and a half. We'll call it two and a half. I still have to add um, beads in here, and there's a little button at the bottom of Santa's hat. But I did do all of this on my breaks at work today. So, I mean, they, they do go pretty quick. I'll definitely finish the mouse tonight and then start another. But I really wanted to have these done by Wednesday night so I could send them to school on Thursday. It's pushing it. I may be up until 2 o'clock in the morning the next two nights. Alright. That is it for whips. So, um, I was going to say if you don't want to see the haul or anything else to check out, but if you watched the last video, you know I have a giveaway winner to announce. So, you should probably just stick around. Um, I'm going to go through, I don't have very many purchases, um, obviously those six sleds, and then I picked up some chenille on the color sizzle, picked up a snag nabbit because I thought I had one but I can't find it. Picked up one of these. I had one of these before and I broke it, but um, it's a little plastic tube. You, if you're having trouble gripping your um, needle to pull it under your stitches, if you put this on the needle and then grip the needle that way and pull, it, it they really do work well. Um, and it's nice because it has the clasp that you can put on your scissors or whatever, and then a magnetic um, clasp here so you can just detach it. And then I bought this at the dollar spot at Target. Um, Barbie pedal pusher. I had this. So when I saw it, I picked it up. Don't know what I'll finish on it, but you know, it's something for good for small finishes. Got my next, um, in the series for cottage garden. This one's really pretty. Those pinks are really pretty. Uh, this is number six in the Songbird's Garden. And then I picked up this magazine chart. Oops, for these ornaments. We 
y'all know that's up my alley. And I purchased this project bag. And on the inside, it's nice and pink. And on the back are these awesome flamingos. Ah! Look at that. Oh my god. I love it. The pink. It's it's awesome. Um, I had seen this on... I think she was posting... I, I apologize. I cannot remember who it was that I purchased it from. I was so excited when I saw it because it was the second time I had seen it posted. And it was still available. So I snagged it. Um, but again, I can't remember who it was. Cross stitch gold. Um, I don't know what I have this marked for. Oh, I wanted to check these out. Like, figure, read this and figure out where to get them or whatever. Um, this was purchased mainly for this pattern. It is 12 Days of Christmas. And this is by Doreen Jones. I am not a huge fan of most of the 12 Days of Christmas patterns that I've seen. But with the bright colors and stitched on that black, I really like it. So my plan is to stitch them as individual ornaments. And then just some Holy Family Nativity ornaments. Angel, Three Kings, Shepherds. And last for haul, not last for haul. Um, these came in the mail today. Some old vintage buttons. These are supposed to, they're supposed to be glass, but they're, they're feeling kind of lightweight. I'm going to have to explore that some more. But they are colors that you don't normally find, so I picked them up. And my la uh, latest issue of World of Cross Stitching, this is the cute little freebie card. This was a good issue. World of Cross Stitch. Cross Stitching, sorry. This Santa is really nice. Really blingy. I think that's cool. I don't I don't know when I'll stitch it. I'll stitch it someday. I would like to. This is really nice. That could just be left out all winter as well, so that's nice. It's not specifically Christmas. cards with wreaths. These are cute. Make good ornaments. These are adorable. I probably won't make them into the tree table toppers. They'll probably be ornaments, but I love that coordinating set. Those colors. The candle. And last is this poinsettia fairy. And I also did buy this magazine chart individually off of one of the Stash and Low groups, so I'll be giving that away in future videos. Actually, if I can find it, I'll probably throw it into my Christmas giveaway that I'm that I'm doing. Um, everything else that I've got. Oh, dang it! This was haul. Okay, so I had signed up for the Color and Cotton Halloween box, and I loved it. So I signed up for the Hall the Christmas box, and it's cute. I mean, it's got great... This came today. A cute little gingerbread man. This bag has buttons and rusty jingle bells. You know, good for embellishment. I'm sure... A lot of people on FlossTube are going to be showing off this box, so I don't want to take a ton of time. Needleminder, the ever-popular red truck with a Christmas tree. This 
some trim. Okay, Ghirardelli hot chocolate. Yes, please. And $15 gift certificate. Here is the pattern, Merry Cozy Christmas. Here are the two limited edition silk colors. This is showing up pretty true to color. Good variation too. Here are half of the cotton threads. Rudolph's nose, Laurel. This says Christmas gold, but yeah, that's not Christmas gold. It just got misstickered. Um, this is frosted spruce. This is to all a good night. Eggnog. This is Christmas gold. Uh, reindeer treats. Hot chocolate. And holly berry. And then a fat eighth of 32 count Belfast. And these aren't, the colors are not named because it's just the limited edition. And then um, fat quarter of Belfast 32 count linen as well. And this is a there you can kind of see the color better. And then, um, you know, some cotton fabrics for finishing and a piece of velveteen for finishing. Really nice green. I'm trying to catch the light over here. So that was that was a good box. Um, it was fun to do Halloween and Christmas both. I probably would will not do them in the future. Um, not because it's not worth it. It is. I really think it is worth it. Um, the price after getting a gift certificate for fifteen dollars come. You know the price comes down to. I think eighty five. I think it was a hundred dollars. I think it was twenty five. Um, down payment, whatever, when you um, signed up and then it was a $75 balance. I can't remember. Either way, I mean, it's worth it. It's beautiful. I will likely use everything in here, but um, I don't think I need to do it every year. Um, I do think that everybody should get to do it once just for fun. The rest is amazing mail. <laughs> I am blown away by how many wonderful people I have met through this cross stitch community, through floss tube, through Facebook. I, it's amazing. Um, I mean, Christmas cards galore, just so cool. Um, this came from Cindy, Cindy's Cross Stitch. Beautiful ornament. And she has a tutorial on her uh, Floss Tube channel for making these stars, actually. Um, thank you, Cindy. <clears throat> I got a package, let me see. This was from Ramona. Buttons. Gee, it's like she knows me. But there's some really good ones in there that I'll be able to use for fobs. Just fun ones. Um, I also got um, this card. It's glitter. <laughs> um, from Linda, and she sent me a nice little note inside. And some more buttons. And also, these also have beads. I don't think sequins. Um, yeah, there might be sequins in there too. I don't know, but super cool. Love the colors. Thank you, thank you. Um. Christine, I love this card. Oh, I love 
look at that poinsettia wreath. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's see what else I've got here. Oh, this is a card Cindy sent with her ornament. Super pretty. Um. Gosh. This one is from Kim. She, I'm guessing she made this. Um, handmade, either way. Super cute. And then the inside is Merry Christmas. It's embossed. It's really nice. I'm so jealous of people that can do this, the fancy card making, scrapbooking, stamping. I mean, there's clear embossed snowflakes on here, too. I... I mean, I could do it, I guess, if I was following a, a pattern. I could copy. But I am not good at just coming up with an idea like that. And then, this came from Donna today. <laughs> Healthy stick. <laughs> and she sent me this beautiful cottage garden samplings pattern. So pretty. All hearts come home for Christmas. So I will definitely be stitching that. This is from, oh, My Garden Journal must be the series, December's Holly. Very cool. Thank you, thank you. And then a, another gorgeous card, handmade by Jackie. Look at that. Cool. Very cool. Thank you, Jackie. Um, and she also sent goodies. Goodies. A couple pieces of fabric. This is a really bright um, opal yellow. Lizzie Kate. Blackbird Designs. Sweetheart tree. Yeah, I'll be stitching that with kitty cats. Super cute. And some 2019 charms for next year. And, oh, some pretty fabric for finishing. I can hear a cat clawing on something. Okay, so she also included this tin. And she had sent me a picture, actually, of these tins from CBS where she works. And she had said she was going to use it for finishing. Yeah, I can't open it right now. It doesn't matter. It's empty. They're bigger than I thought they were from the picture, which is really cool. I think this is going to be really nice to get a good size finish on. I, I don't know. You know, obviously I don't have a pattern in mind yet, but I think this is going to be really cool. So, thank you. Oh, <laughs> and chapstick. So, Ellery, I let each kid open one of the, the wrapped bundles. And Ellery saw this and she said, oh, is that for me? I, she's been, she kept asking for lip gloss and lipstick when I was doing my makeup every day. So I bought her some chapstick, and she calls it her lipstick, and she puts that on all the time, but it's chapstick, so I don't care. So she saw this and thought it was hers. <laughs> and last was my mail art exchange, and my, pa my um, package, my envelope, came all the way from Holland, not Holland the city, Holland the country. I don't care if you see my address, I guess. Um, look at that. She even had it, went to the post office and had it canceled on there. Um, it came in a plastic bag, so you could see through to the stitched envelope. But, um, I mean, there were other labels on top, too. Customs form and whatnot. Look at that little gnome. Or elf. Either way, super cute. Here's the back. Very cool. The flaps is Merry Christmas. 
really cool. And then the lining is Christmas trees. She sent me some jingle bells and some other charms. Some Christmassy pearl cotton. DMC. Um, the Oh, two of these are anchor. These two are DMC, and then the red and the green are anchor. I can hear a lot of screaming upstairs, so I'm not sure what you guys can hear. And then stickers and um, project cards. Okay, that is actually it now. Um, huge, huge thank you to everyone that has sent me something. The cards are amazing. The gifts are so not necessary, but totally appreciated. Um, everybody is so generous. I, I love it. Um, I hope you weren't too shocked by my FFOs. I might actually have to keep up with that now so that it's not a shock when it does happen. Oh, you guys probably want to know the giveaway winner, huh? So, I already did the whole random.org part um, because I am on a time crunch because I have to go stitch these stupid ornaments that I, you know, decided I had to have. So, to, uh, the Christmas giveaway winner is, um, I believe it's Amy. Creat Creativity by Gidge. I think she said Amy. I could be wrong. Um, either way, I did subscribe to your channel now because I didn't hadn't hadn't done it yet before. Um, so get in contact with me. I'll put my um, you know what? That's not necessary. We've talked on Instagram. You know how to get a hold of me. Shoot me your address. I'll get this in the mail. I will try my darndest to get it in the mail this week, but I'm not gonna lie. The post office is a nightmare. Um, the branch where I usually go is downtown where I work. And I get out of work at 4.30 and that branch closes at 5. I went today and it was a nightmare. There was a line so long that I knew I wasn't even going to get to the counter until about 5 o'clock. And I had nine packages to mail. And I, I really like the girls in there so I didn't want to make them stay too late. And there were people lining up behind me. I ended up leaving and I came home and left the kids with Brian and I ran to the grocery store, Meyer, um, because they have postal, I mean they can they can mail stuff there. So I will get it in the mail ASAP. <laughs> but it may not be before Christmas. Um a brief preview of that Christmas pack. Uh, like I said before, I've got this pack of hand-dyed floss from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. Prairie Schooler. Ornaments. Crustage from Stony Creek. So, all kinds of Christmas goodies. And there, there's going to be more, too. This is just... Um, what I had sitting in front of me because it's spread all over the house. Why would you want it in one spot? I, let's see, today's the 17th. Probably will not be back before Christmas um, because just like everybody knows, it's getting crazy busy. Um, but that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. I hope you get to spend a lot of time with your families. Um, I hope that Santa is good to everyone. Um, I actually know one of the gifts I'm going to get because I picked it out today and I'm going to get a cricket. So I'm kind of excited to play with that. Um, yeah. So happy stitching. Um, you should definitely start something new, um, on Christmas just because everybody should have lots of whips like me. And I'm definitely going to enable you and say go buy all the good stuff. Um, that was the dog. 
Now, I don't edit, so... Sorry. And you're welcome. Um, anyway. I know we get two days for Christmas and two days for New Year's uh, working for the state. It's not going to be a whole lot of stitching time, though. Um, Sunday, we're going to my parents in the morning for Christmas with them. Monday, Christmas Eve, we always spend Christmas Eve with Brian's family, um, do dinner there. Christmas Day, we'll be getting up and doing Christmas with our kids, and then we pack up and go to my aunt's house for my mom's side of the family. And then I go back to work the day after Christmas. So, I mean, there's no slowing down. Um, New Year's... Eh. We don't have a ton of stuff for New Year's. New Year's Eve, we always go to bed at like 10 o'clock anyway. <laughs> and then uh, New Year's Day, we're going to my aunt's house, my dad's side of the family, and we do Christmas with that side of the family. So... It's not as crowded as Christmas weekend. So I'll hopefully get some stitching done then. There's a lot of yelling going on upstairs. So I should probably check out. Go see if he needs help getting kids in bed. I've got this lovely mess here to pick up. Um, and then I'm going to go stitch some ornaments. And possibly eat some ice cream. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Have a great Christmas. Um, and hopefully I'll see you before the new year. Bye.